Hey guys, it's Shannon. And Paul. Hopefully you can see me looking at the camera. I'm like way over here because our basket here is so big, we have to kind of lean off to the side so you can see us. <laughs> so today we are going to share with you our very first video of this type. Hopefully there's gonna be many, many more to come. But this is gonna be, what did we declutter this, this hour? this hour. <laughs> what have we decluttered over the last little bit of time? So we have a giant basket here. Paul is super excited because to start this project, I went out and bought a nice <laughs> basket to contain all of our clutter that we're decluttering in. Well, I'm just thankful that it's only one basket because I actually made a joke about another basket and I, I fear that that's, that might be in my future. Yeah, he made a joke and said, we need to have a basket for our library books that are waiting to go back. And I'm like, that's a great idea. That's a horrible idea. I was, it's I was, a great idea. I was, making that as, I was saying that as a joke. It's a great idea. <laughs> you guys, if you have a basket like that, you can leave a comment. I think it's a great idea. We have a countertop for that specific purpose. The kitchen counter. Nobody wants those on the kitchen counter. I want them on the kitchen counter. You put them in a basket by the front door so they're easy to go back. Nope. Okay, that's not the point of today's video. We can argue about that later. <laughs> Today we're going to show what we've been, been decluttering. And Paul, did you want to explain why we're decluttering? Because we're minimalists. Not even <laughs> close. Did you want to seriously explain? Yes. So, um, so we have too much stuff. Distilled into a very simple sentence. We, we have way too much stuff and it's driving us insane. Um, to a small degree. Um, True. Yeah. So, uh, so we're, because we are resellers, we are <laughs> hobbled with the knowledge and the idea that everything has value. So just picking up something in our house that is, that is clearly clutter, that is not for us personally, or that we no longer use personally, is very difficult just to say, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to get rid of it because it's like, Ooh, what's it worth? Let's look it up on eBay. Look it up on eBay. Yeah, or, oh, this is cool. If, you know, if I had this plus two other things like it, then it would be worth it. So a lot of things just end up hanging around for a lot longer than they should in our house because they're valuable or one day they're going to be valuable. And <laughs> that's a cycle we kind of, we need to break for our sanity. Um, and so, yeah, so this is, this is a small step here. I have some stuff over here too, so. Also, um, I will just put out there, Paul and I mentioned this a little bit in the channel like reintroduction video we did, but within the next couple of years, we may be moving. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to go through stuff because if you saw the storage unit video, we have currently now 10 storage units filled with mm -hmm. uh, merchandise, but we have a very large house that we also run our business out of. But even just our personal stuff is so huge. And if we move, we don't want to move all this stuff with us. Yeah. So we're taking steps now in advance in case we have to move. That, that, that's, that's a good point because when we moved to this house in 2018, mm -hmm. moving was a fairly easy thing. Um, not necessarily for us, but because it was in the same town, we were able to take carloads of stuff back and forth. Yeah, we didn't have a moving company. Well, we did. No, just for some uh, furniture. True, true. For some furniture as well as some boxes. But getting that moving company was very, very simple. It was like pick up the phone, call, two days later, a truck and some people show up and everything. That's no longer the world that we live in. So, yeah. So, I, I just want to point out though, when we moved, when we moved here, we didn't even move a lot of our furniture and stuff. We bought all new furniture. So, true. the only thing the movers that we hire moved were like our shelving for our business and things like that. But all of our office furniture, the bedroom, the couch, everything was all brand new. We didn't pay true. to move that. That's so, true. So, we moved and our kids moved a lot of the stuff carload by carload. True. Anyway, anyway, we need to get to what we've declared. All right, let's go. Declutter. Paul doesn't know what's in this basket. I don't. <laughs> okay. I don't think it's any of my stuff, so it's okay. So I don't remember what's in a lot of this stuff. We'll do that one in a minute. I want to get some of this really big stuff out of the way. Okay, yeah. So one of our sons was home a couple, uh, two weeks ago maybe, and yes. he was bored, and we were trying to find an important piece of paper, so that just got us in the office decluttering. So he helped me. <laughs> we have... This is a bag. This is embarrassing. This is from our business. This is a bag just 
filled with receipts and mm -hmm. shipping invoices. So this whole bag is going. Here's, ah, it's heavy. Here's another whole bag. Should I say what these are? You can say. These are just Shop Disney packing slips. Both of these Both bags. Of those bags. So wow, this, I saw our table shake when you... Yeah, wait, wait this. Feel this, it's probably 20 pounds. Oh yeah, that's at least 20 pounds. It's I would really, say it's closer to 30. It's really heavy, so you can put those on the floor. Those are going away, so I wanted to just mention that you don't need to keep things forever, even for your business. Get tax advice from a professional, but we've been told we don't need to keep things forever, so some of this old stuff just needs to go. Yep. So here's another one. This bag is just filled with gobs and gobs of yeah, the tar receipts like from Target and Walmart and all that kind of stuff. So let's just see when this one's from. Oh yeah, we had receipts back to like 2012. 2012. This one's from 2019, so I feel feel kind of good about that one. And then That's where we're uh, this bag, which hopefully you don't want this bag because no, it's good. ripped now. This bag is like halfway filled with just more. I mean, I could dump these out and make like confetti. I'm not going to. But that's a bunch of stuff leaving our office that we didn't need to continue to keep. So thank you, Casey, for your help. Yes. Oh wait, is that another one? Oh no, it's uh -huh. not. It's something different. Okay. All right. Uh, did you want me to keep going? Do you, you only can, have you like two things? Do, 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 do the next thing. Apparently I've been something. decluttering more than Paul. I don't have much clutter. Okay. <laughs> Here, you can have this. Oh, okay. I moved that right. off your pile okay. the other day. Yeah, okay. That's so, mine. Um, when our son joined the Marines, uh, when he was in boot camp, I set up this whole little thing on our fireplace. Um, they do something called the Crucible, and a lot of parents will set up a thing. It's 48 hours of H-E-L-L -L for them. So a lot of parents from the Facebook group I was in set up different things just to remind you and you pray for them through that whole 48 hours. Anyway, I finally took it down three years later <laughs> because I'm on top of things. He passed. The, little but, shrine, the, the shrine worked. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> so two of the things that I'm getting rid of, one of the things I'm keeping, but I had purchased this sign and then I had this picture frame that actually had uh, something in it that's personal which I'm keeping that thing but I didn't need the frame anymore so the frame is gonna go to the donation center and I was ready to get rid of this and then I'm like let me just check on eBay see <laughs> like Paul said see and sure enough this thing sells for more than I paid for it plus shipping more so parents are setting up shrines yeah, so maybe a future marine parent will have this. If I was still part of the group, I would offer it just for free to um, one of the moms in the group. But since I'm not in the group anymore, this puppy's going to go on eBay. It served us well. Somebody will be happy to So get here, that. we'll put it right here. Home of the free because of the brave. There you go. Oh, am I still going? Oh, I... So yeah. I was cleaning... I was looking in my room and see this is the... the the reseller thing getting us. Oh, it's dusty. Let's wipe the dust off there. <laughs> See all the dust? So these are two things that I had bought for myself personally. Oh, there's dust. Um, these are nail polish kits. Okay, it might be time to move. Yeah, back. move the dust. So these are nail polish kits. They are brand new, never been used. They're both by OPI. We have a Hello Kitty and then a Disney The Nutcracker. Um, these were expensive when I bought them. And I bought them because I wanted them, but how much did I want them because I've never used them. They're still brand new, never even taken out of the box. And honestly, I would keep these, but I looked them up and they're worth money. They're worth more than I paid Ooh. for them too. So in the, the spirit of decluttering, I have drawers full of nail polish. I don't need these two kits. So since these are brand new, I've decided to sell these on eBay. So these are gonna go into the eBay pile. Whoop! Oh no! That was on the eBay pile. All right, uh, so it's the eBay pile. And you want me to show these things? No, 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 I'll show something now. I, I was just doing that so that. Okay. All right, so I have an umbrella. This is Technically, a very- Technically, shouldn't that be in my pile because it was in my car? 
it was either in your car or it was the trunk of my car. I no, that came out when we sold my car. Did it? Yeah. Okay. I think. All right. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, um, yeah, umbrellas are something that we had. We we had some, and we might still have some in in a <laughs> in a like... bin uh, here. We have like a little coat coat closet area back there. Um, there, oh, might, no. there might be an umbrella or two in there, but we had some in both of our cars, and we just don't use umbrellas. We um, don't. We go play. We don't go out a whole lot. I run a lot more errands than Shannon does, but most of the errands I run, I'm somewhere where, you know, if it's raining, I just get wet. Can you Not pick up deal. the declutter bin and put it back here? I can try. <laughs> this has happened while Paul's talking. <clears throat> Come on, use your muscles. I know it's heavy. It's really heavy. We are not decluttering this little guy, but he jumped in. <laughs> he jumped into the now empty decluttering bin. Hi, Jack. This is Jack, in case you guys haven't seen him yet. Yeah. Say hi, buddy. So he will not be decluttered. He but will not. I just thought it was pretty cute that he jumped in there. We have bought him multiple cat beds. He will not <laughs> lay in a cat bed. Yeah. He won't lay in a cat tree. We bought one of those really big, expensive, you know, cat towers. No interest. I bought a decluttering bin. He's in it. Is every chance he can get, he's in this bin. So yeah. I guess it's it's Jack approved. Let's see if he'll look through the little. Look, Jack. No. Oh, he's mushing. He's making biscuits in there. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna All slide right. him your way. Yeah. I'll give you the umbrella back. You can you can continue talking about your umbrella. I just thought that was too cute. All right. Anyway, we just don't use this. Um, it has gotten dirty or gummy down here. I don't know. Anyway, it, it's a cheap umbrella. We're not gonna use it. I'm getting rid of it. So that's yeah. just being donated. That's that's one of the problems is, well, but we might need it one day. Yeah. And we haven't used an umbrella. In years. Actually, I could tell you the last time we used an umbrella. It was 2012, I believe. And it's because we were outdoors at a funeral and it was raining. Oh, yeah. That's right. So that's the last time we have used an umbrella. Okay. Am I showing more? Yes. Your turn now. So, I don't know if you guys are like me, but I suffer from this a lot. I buy things that I think are cute and I like, but then when I go to actually use them, I don't like them. But I end up keep, oh my goodness, I see cat eyes staring through the handle and a cat paw. You should bring them over so you can see the cat paw. <laughs> anyway, I end up keeping the things because they're cute, not because I use them. So. I'm just going to show here are three pens that I had purchased at different times. Of course, the cats love this one, but they don't need this. They have so many toys. This one is a sentimental thing that was hard to get rid of. It's a Dave and Buster's pen. So when our Marine came home from boot camp, what was it? Uh, three and a half months, we didn't talk to him at all because they're not allowed to oh, talk over four months because of uh, oh yeah because of covid yeah and then they go to school he was in school for another eight or nine months so anyway when he came home i took him to dave and buster's and i ended up buying this pen at their little gift shop and this pen is horrible <laughs> it does not write well it is a piece of junk sorry dave and busters we love you but your pen is a piece of junk but like the little thing is spinning. I've kept it this whole time because it's sentimental. It reminds me of that time and how happy I was that he was home, but that's not a good reason to keep stuff. I still have the memory. I don't need the pen. So we're getting rid of these, even though they actually still write, they write like garbage. So they need to go. They're just going in the trash. And along that same lines, this is a little tape correction thing. It does not work well. And I'm constantly like, I'll make it work. I'll make, no, just get rid of it. It's junk. Get rid of it. So it's all going. All right. Are you almost out of stuff? Oh no. I have a plastic bag. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> Wait till I tell you the story. See how cute you think I am. Uh, so okay, this is, this is a great value plastic bag. Um, it's it was a, not a great it, value. It's a gallon size bag. This, you know, you got like forty bags for like three dollars or whatever it was. Um, so this this is Walmart's generic brand, um, and it, they, they do a great job. These are the zipper bags, but this one, when it was manufactured, had no zipper. So it's just a sealed plastic bag with no way to open or close it. 
easily. For whatever reason, I didn't just pull this out of the package and throw it in the trash. All the other, all the other bags, just so you know, work fine in in the in the box of them. This one bag is just an anomaly. <laughs> But it's been on the counter. I'm not going to go to Walmart's customer service with my bag and demand satisfaction. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just going to get rid of it and move on with my life. Now. At least now I'm thinking that. How long but, has it been there? Oh, it, has, it sat on our kitchen counter for at least two weeks. And then it sat here to be in the decluttering video for like another week. Awesome. So, yeah. So, now that I've talked about it, now I can get rid of now it. Now you can get rid of it? <laughs> cool. Of it. So, thank you guys for allowing me to share. <laughs> So fun update, while we're sitting here doing our decluttering video, we're in the front room of our house. The mail person just yeah. delivered stuff to our front porch. Yeah, if you if you enjoy this content about decluttering, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notifications when we put up more videos on hauls or, you know, yes. sh any shop with me is anything else <laughs> like that. Cause... Paul and I like to declutter and reclutter. That's right. <laughs> we're going to make shirts. Yeah. We declutter, then we reclutter. Okay. I don't remember what's... Oh, yeah. Here's another one of those sentimental things. Winner, winner, winner. It's a ball from Dave & Buster's. The cat is looking at me. That actually bounces a little bit. Yeah. Do you want this, buddy? But it's lopsided. Do you want the ball? We don't know if he wants the ball or not. And then I am not going to show this. I'm not going to take it out of here. <laughs> he, yeah, he can be in the video. It's pretty adorable. There you go. Say hi to your people. <laughs> In here I have some underwear and what had happened is I had wanted some new stuff and I went to the store and I bought a couple different packs and I did not like these. I tried one pair, did not like them. In the past I would have just kept these in my drawer forever because I bought them. But I'm like, no, you know, the rest are all brand new. I know I can donate this and somebody will be able to get use out of them and I don't need to keep them because I didn't like them. So those are going away as well. And am I, I'm still going? Yeah, I only okay. have one more thing to show. Well, I have lots of stuff. Paul needs to get on his decluttering <laughs> thing. So one of the things, I have some Lululemon reusable tote bags here. These actually sell on eBay, I think. So we're probably gonna be looking at that and maybe selling them, or we might keep those just to use going to the store and whatnot. Yeah. They're really nice, sturdy bags. Yeah, I have a stock of reusable bags that I take with me places. Um, so yeah, that, that, these might go in that rotation. Dave and Buster's. <clears throat> Seeing a theme here. A little game controller plush. I had looked this up and I want to say it sells for like $15 or $18 or something. This just came out of the claw machine for fun, but I don't need it. So that's going. Ah, uh, yes. My Beauty and the Beast rose. Let's see. I forgot how you make it make noise. Oh, right there. Oh, it doesn't work. I think the battery's dead. Battery's dead? It's a little, like, trinket box. I had bought this back when the live-action movie came out. You're looking like you don't remember. Did I we don't... buy it or did this? Actually, this got sent to us. Okay. I think we reviewed this on our toy channel or okay. something. Anyway, the little rose lights up. It plays some music. I liked it for a long time, but I'm trying to get rid of stuff. So, that's going. And... This has been sitting in my bedroom forever. This is a brand new Attack Dooney and Burke wallet. So I actually have this wallet um, myself. This this is where Paul is an enabler. You're already laughing. I am. So when you buy purses, specifically Dooney and Burke Disney purses, they have a different pattern placement on most of them. And you're always worried like, oh, I might get a bad pattern. Um, a lot of times like their heads are cut off or you know, <laughs> just crazy. Um, so we bought two because I really wanted the wallet. Paul's like, get two so you can pick the one you like the most. So I picked the one I like the most. I've been using it for a year or however long this mm -hmm. has been out. This has just been sitting on my dresser for all that time. So this needs to be sold so we can get our money back because this was not a good deal. I mean, we paid full price for it. We need to just get our money back. Yeah. What's funny is that we bought two with the intention of, well, we'll just resell one. Well, right. We, we, will, we, will, we will resell the other the one that Shannon doesn't want. Shannon's actually quite lucky that only two were purchased. Oh. She could have easily had three to three to five of these sitting on her dresser. I'm making a mess now. Because, yes, I am an enabler. Okay. These are going this way because okay. they're taking up space. Okay. If you watch our What Sold videos, you'll end up seeing things like this. This is a special edition 
DC Comics little bombshell that we were given when we went to Toy Fair one year. Yep. Um, I've had it on my shelf in my room for years. Probably this was like five years ago or something. And I just decided again, I'm trying to get rid of a lot of the little like just stuff in my room. I have a lot of guilt things in my room. Uh, he's laughing. I am. Our son loves to play the claw machine games and he brings me stuffed animals all the time and I love them it's cute I love that he does it I love the stuffed animals but I can't get rid of those yet so I'm getting rid of all the stuff that I purchased or collected to make room well there you go um I'm gonna still go because he's playing with the cat a photo album that I'm not using it's just gonna be donated impressive. um impressive yes most impressive there's dust in this bag so my mother-in-law, um, she is very nice and makes fun boxes full of stuff. She knows I like office supplies. So literally this bag came from her. It was filled to the top with pens and pencils and all kinds of stuff. There were a few things in there I can't use, so I'm just going to donate them. These are three brand new pencil cases. Let me get rid of those. These have been in my house for over a year, and now I'm finally getting rid of them. <laughs> Um, three packs of kid scissors. She likes to buy stuff on clearance and stuff yeah. and it just makes a huge bag, but I'm going to get rid of those. We have some pencils here that are brand new. I don't use pencils, so I'm getting rid of those. And last thing in that bag is a ruler. Um, I don't need this one because I already have rulers. And Go ahead. I'm getting rid of a trash can. <laughs> That should be the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> um, I bought this thing, I think at Hobby Lobby a long time ago, and I have used it for various things over the years. And I just realized I, I don't need it. I'm not using it for anything. I think it's very cute and I love it, but I'm not using it. So it's going away and <laughs> junk. I'm getting rid of junk. This is a bag from P. Lush's. Um, they send us things that we show on our toy channel. One of the special edition pets came in this bag. <laughs> I've kept a bag because it's gold sparkly and then has pink fabric inside. Oh, wow. And I'm just like, it's so cool. I could fill it with all me money. Just kidding. We don't have any money. We don't have any money. We have stuff. In it. <laughs> I can fill it with all my junk. You could. And donate it. There you go. Okay, so that is going as well. Paul has, I think, one more thing, and then I have one more small stack, and then we'll wrap this up. Thank you. All right, so I have a pair of shoes. So these are not the shoes. So um, actually, these are Hoka. Hoka shoes. shoes. Yeah, I have I received more comments on these. Actually, I've received more questions on those shoes than anything. Um, I purchased these a couple years ago um, in advance of shoes that I had wearing out. I had never owned a pair of Hoka's before. I was buying Brooks shoes. Um, Brooks fit me very, very well and they're very comfortable on my feet. I have flat feet. Um, but because of supply chain issues, I couldn't get the Brooks shoes that I wanted. So uh. the, uh, the specialty shoe store that I went to <laughs> had Hoka in stock in my size. I tried them on. They felt a bit odd to me, but I, but all new shoes do. And they fit my foot pretty well, so I felt like, okay, well, I'll, I'll give these a try. You know, a bunch of Hoka people can't be wrong. <laughs> and they, they, fit my they fit my foot very well, but they, they just, they never felt quite right. And so eventually one day I was out and I'm like, why am I wearing shoes that don't feel quite right? Right. They were giving him foot problems. They were. They, they actually aggravated my plantar fasciitis. So, um, so <laughs> a week or so ago... <laughs> Up close, kitty. Hey, I was decluttering that. Yeah. <laughs> a week or so ago, I stopped at the shoe store. They had the Brooks shoes that I love back in stock, and I wore those out of the store, and I haven't put these Hoka's on since, and they're going away. I'm not sure if they are going to be sold or if I'm just going to donate them. Um, if they have decent tread on the bottom, they should be resold because they, yeah. they sell... Pretty well. Yeah, I'll have to, we'll have to take a look. But okay. anyway, so that's the deal with those. So the last stack of stuff I have is all going to be jigsaw puzzles. So I've been really into jigsaw puzzles lately, and these are all ones that I have completed and decided not to keep. So in the past, I would just want to keep all the puzzles, but 
trying to declutter and we have a lot of puzzles. And for every one I complete, I think I buy five more. So, <laughs> I'm Those were minimalists. Of, <laughs> because I'm a reclutterer. Yeah. So I'm gonna get rid of some of them. I'm gonna look them up. It's hard to sell puzzles online because shipping is yeah. so expensive. So if we can't sell them on eBay, we have a local um, children's resale show that goes twice a year. And if you sell there, you get early access to buy. So I'll, I'll, just, I'll sell them there. This one's a little hard for me because Halloween is my favorite and I love Disney. But I did not enjoy doing this puzzle. I loved the picture, but this puzzle frustrated me. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I also have a Squishmallows puzzle. This one was a lot of fun, but I just don't see myself redoing these again, which is why I'm getting rid of them. This one was a great deal, New York in color. Um, this was a Gallison puzzle. It was $1.99 at Goodwill, and I've already put it together twice. So mm -hmm. that was a really good value for the money. I have a Barbie puzzle, 1,000 pieces. It was fun to put together, but again, I just don't see myself... Doing it. doing it again with how many I have yeah so maybe when I get down and only have a few puzzles left I won't get rid of as many but I have so many they they just need to go I have a mud puppy love in the wild puzzle um this is a cute puzzle and this one oh, again I love it this is a Clementoni puzzle I forget where these are made but they're Italy. Uh, made in Italy Italy that did not come out right um these are really nice puzzles the quality is great uh this is a 101 dalmatians puzzle it was so hard to do i had this puzzle on our dining room table for months <laughs> before i finally finished it so i was tempted to keep these and use this just display somewhere because the boxes are so pretty but no i think i'm gonna move it on and let it go because i am not clutter collector hey that could be our channel the clutter collector that might be us after all we might be the clutter, <laughs> the clutter collectors. collectors anyway yeah i'm gonna move this one on so that's that's it that's what we have right now we could do that we could start a support group for like recovering minimalists people who people who are going <laughs> recovering from recovering yes yeah, pe people who are going like from minimalism back to back to stuff back to stuffalism yeah we, we're there for them we're there for you. So um, we've received a couple comments saying that hopefully we would motivate you to declutter. Uh, I don't think definitely it... we can motivate you to clutter. <laughs> yeah. Because we're good at doing that. Um, hopefully we motivate you a little bit to declutter with yeah. some of the stories we told or some of the reasoning for getting rid of stuff. Start small. <laughs> Nobody needs to keep that bag on their counter for weeks. <laughs> All right, did you have anything you wanted to say? I think that's it. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I have anything else. Just, okay. Yeah, it was an odd collection of stuff, but everybody has some odd random collection of stuff that you're hanging on to. Yeah. From extra paperwork that doesn't need to be around to some weird odd or end that <laughs> came in a package that you're hanging on to. Like, I, I, ha I have a drawer full of, like, an extra screw that came with, like, all these assemble pieces of furniture. Yeah. It's That's like, so oh, I might need that go. one day. It, I'm never going to... If... If the thing is falling apart where a screw is falling out, I need a new unit, not a, new, not a screw to put in. Well, and the home improvement store sell more screws if you needed more one day. Yeah, in their, in their quest for profit, they, they, they keep extra hardware on stock. <laughs> All right, well, um, Jack, the boss, got out of the decluttering basket and has moved on. So I think it's time for Paul and I to wrap this video up and start refilling that basket for the next yep. video. So you guys can let us know what you think of this. If you have any questions, comments, or if you just want to laugh, that's cool too. Um, thank you for watching. Yep. We'll see you guys later. I have to go out and get our delivery. That's right. Bye guys.